Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Marmoset and we are back in the House of Punch Jar as we're playing a punch club. We're a bit hungry, we could do some more health. Top that up just a little bit. That's health, and the health actually gives us health. We should probably just eat that to get rid of it at some point. Not immediately right now. We've got the ultimate fighter scheduled in a couple of days. Strong opponent, so I'm reasonably happy. I think a 3.13.4 build, or just keep that one down and maybe bring this one up to a 5 is probably going to be absolutely fine for us. So we've got quite a bit of time to kill and train, so we might as well just see how high can we get our agility. To do that, we're going to need Roy's help. Ooh. Or do we, since we're in a pretty good condition... Ah, uh, no, this isn't high enough yet. I was wondering whether we could go to the cafe and pick a fight with a turtle thing. Wail on this for a little bit. So I believe it's a couple days we've got a fight coming up. So we should be able to spend quite a chunk of time in the gym. It is great that I'm helping, isn't it, Roy? Chill with Roy. Unfortunately, I've just noticed we're not actually going to get much time in the gym because our oh, hero is tired. He's not been to bed recently. So we'll just chill with Roy until Roy comments about the beer and stuff. Because I mean, I could just leave it here and let this tick all the way up, but that would take ages. Hmm. City map, flat, walk, nap. And then you're probably going to complain you're hungry later on. That's what we've got in this flat while he sleeps. He sleeps with the light on in the middle of the day, apparently. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's that air conditioning unit. Drinks bottles that he never appears to use. It was the last time we actually saw him properly cook or wash up. More kitties gone. Sad. Terminator poster. Old fashioned strange cuckoo clock. Oh, he's a he's good. Grand. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. Uh, eat the moo meat. Meat moo. And then we'll put a grab a pizza to top that up. Yep, you are full of food, love, and happiness. This means it's time to go to the gym. The next fight is tomorrow. Roy, we should train together. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, we shall meet at Silver's gym. In we go. Right, so let us treadmill this up to a 5, and then see how much we can dump onto the speed bag to get this up. I find myself humming along with the music now. These guys don't ever swap over. Fighters today. This is dropped down, unfortunately, so we need to get dashed back onto the treadmill briefly. But we'll do that after we burnt this one all the way out. Come on. Yep, back on the treadmill. Getting this up is going to require fair bit of time. Um, I don't think we're going to do it in one day. It's a weird question of how much the tick down happens. Are we going to get a little stamina off this one every now and then, or is it just... Yeah, we do get a little tick of stamina every now and then. But we've lost Roy's help, unfortunately, so while Roy is still actually technically standing in here, he's not doing anything. He's just watching us with that bareful glaze, gaze coming out from underneath that manful brow of his. We do unfortunately have a fight to go to. Which we will take. You are again, Green Jacket. You are all about the heavy punching. So you've got high punch, skip attack, block, and backhand punch. We are going to drop skip attack and bring in our damage over time. So when is this going to kick in? Percent chance. Hmm. 
Wow, 60. Well, okay, it's ticked in. There it is. Huge combos. So here's a question. I am going to drop it. And I'm going to put skip attack in. Because we're in a position right now where we are might run out of energy. And it is still in effect. And he is nearly out of energy. Look at that extra damage. That's beautiful. Oh, that's a vicious thing to stick in at the beginning of the game. Oh, I know why that's at the end. That's the end of the tree now. Another big chunk of cash to see after our day. Ten skill points. Absolutely ruined him. 255 of 300. We are going to be the best at ultimate fighting. Yes, you shall see. It's a huge chunk of cash. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Well, I suppose the best thing to do would be head to the uh, grocery store. And max it out. There we go. So you just give a little bit of food. I could be persuaded to have some of that. And that gives energy and a little bit of food. I could be persuaded to have some of that. So we could probably do with a little bit of top up on our health. Which is easily done. Alright, so that gym training gained us 254. And we lost 117, so it's about half. So over time, we will be able to get that to tick up. In the interim, um, if that didn't do such a massive damage to my health, I would eat it. Let's smash that in our face. And then we will eat a pizza. Alright, so I'm pretty happy that we're all in a reasonably good mood. So let us quickly jump on the mat to make that a 5. Done. And then we are going to pick a fight. Well, should check our home. Yes! Let's go and pick a fight with this bastard. Now that we can damage over time the guy. By foot! Man, the dog fist! You are a dude with a lion head! You're good Leo! How original! Drop skip attack. Bring in... Cobra Strike! So is it a type of kick? It is a type of kick, so we can drop roundhouse kick. And bring in counter attack. So we can swap it out as a type of kick. Yep, got him. Poisoned. Have some DP damage over time, my lion head friend. Interesting one of alternative versions, rather one that did damage maps, or one that just sapped their energy over time. That would be very interesting. Yeah, you can miss all you want, occasionally. You're just gonna pick up a load of extra damage. Alright, uh, that doesn't go away as far as I know. Oh, wow, we are down. <laughs> so, yeah, this guy's an energy guy. So we'll be having skip attack. Don't think we'll have the counter attack one on. Um, and you are a blocker, so yes, I will have armor piercing in. I've just realized I've not actually put an attack on. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, well that was a round in which not a lot actually happened. Um, Zero foot but full energy, pedaling strike, sharp sting, mimic techniques. Um, you're not that much in the way of damage, so let's actually put a roundhouse kick in. So we can actually hit you. Alright, so that's worn off apparently. But that said, we're chewing through his armor. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to drop skip attack for that one. And then probably put Mimic Techniques back in briefly. Ow, yes. Now we're probably going to run out of energy, but it's mostly about doing damage. We'll have a recovery round next. We've got 99 rounds in which to do this. Oh, it's getting more in his favour this time, right? Yeah, and then we get the knockdown, because multi-kicking with this is a very effective way of burning all of your energy out. 
we will switch back to the roundhouse kick and we will probably drop mimic techniques for skip attack. Oh, I think we might be on the loser. It's going to be close. I mean, we've got this one kicking in. Down he goes, that was close, 7 hit points. So we took a fair chunk of a beating on that, 10 points, and we're very close to be getting yet another skill. The Dark Fist is victorious again! So with that in mind, let's quickly do a sparring fight with you. I'm not going to get much in the way of... Oh, wow, 38 combat. I was about to say, we're not going to do very well in this fight because I'm not really particularly rigged for it, but then we've dropped a pair of 30-plus combos. And then we'll knock him out in a single round, but we will get the extra skill point we want. So, yeah, you're going down in the second round, Hill Silver. Uh, why? Well, because I am Punch Jar, and I am all about the kicking you in the head. Like so. Three skill points, lost a tiny little bit of health, but more importantly, we can go back over here to the way of the tiger and grab something. So, Ricey to three, boost our agility training even further, or Ninjutsu Fan. Every time we dodge an attack, agility increases 10%. Oh, I would love both of them, and they're both ones that are just passive. I don't worry about finding space for them. Controlled Fury. That's less interesting to me, but given that the last fight to get down to that. Given how much dodging we do, I think we'll get more use on the immediate out of that one. Alright, we are waiting for two days for the fight. We should probably spend some time getting these sorted out. So, we'll go by foot. We will sleep until such time as he is hungry. And he gets... Yes, you do get a health boost from actually sleeping, rather than just the passive tick up. And sleeping really just fill this up quite quickly. Dump you on there. And we are going to eat some meat. Yep, happy with that. Um, did any of these things just give you a little bit of health? No, it's just stuff a pizza in our face. That'll do nicely. In the short term. We are going to see what we can do about picking a fight with a ninja crocodile. Because I'm feeling adventurous. Ask about the special pizza. Good for you, Casey. Yes, it would be tasty. If it knows what's on it. Hey, your pizza, my revenge. <laughs> nice. It's Steve! Alright, let's do a complete rebuild. We want a an attack. We want to be able to armor pierce. I would like to be able to mimic attacks. We've got where the tiger on. Counterattacking? Yep. And I would like Crossroads. It looks like it says it's a dodge. But let's take Windflow Dodge instead. And go. Oh, we've already got the uh, damage over time is in. I want this round to end because now we're out of energy. <laughs> Alright, so lesson learned. Don't have that one just by itself. Um, because you'll end up in a situation where you are just crushing your energy far too much. So we want skip attack. Oh, you're meant to be skipping attacks occasionally. Not get your ass handed to you that badly. Well, you know, you can always just go and win. Or oh, not. That was close. Uh, yeah, alright. Lesson learned from that. Do not have Cobra Strike by itself. Because you'll use it a lot and completely run out of energy. 
Alright, don't really fuss too much about health, everything else is full. This sounds like a perfect opportunity to go to the gym, which means we need to go and say hello to Roy and our darling beloved. Chat with her for a bit. Yes, look at those manly muscles. This might take a while, since I don't think we bought her a gift this time around. I don't think we've got the cash for it. We could go to work, but mm, I'd rather use our prize money. So, as usual, we will be heading to the gym and just chat to get ourselves a three in strength and a three and five in stamina, and then we'll just see how far we can get our agility. Looks like I'll be chatting with Adrian for quite a bit longer. Oh. <laughs> I do have other things I want to be doing. How much is a gift? It would all of my money. Mm, I'm not going to be in the gym for that long. Chill with Roy. Top these back up again as opposed to the money I spent chatting to your sister. No, Jamie, the, the, I suppose the advantage, the reason the gift mechanic is in there is so that this is a little bit quicker. Otherwise, you are just going to spend so long chatting to her. But if they made the chatting too easy, why would you ever spend the gift and wasting a mechanic? You're just thinking about it. possibly the reason your car doesn't work too much, Roy, is because the engine's outside and you've got me hammering on it. Let's get training. Yep, I will meet you at Silver's Gym. Yep, flat loss across everything. In we go. With a nice chunk of Roy. So let's start by pushing this one till this goes up, so this will give us a little bit of tick on that one. So we'll make a little bit of progress on our strength to make sure we don't lose too much of it, because we'll keep that at a three. I do want some strength. Now we've got this so high we can afford to have a little bit here. Yep, fair enough, get on this. I'm a bit really bored of doing that one quite quickly, but then I imagine that it's pretty hard work on the thighs. Come on, faster. You're actually going to run out of food, aren't you? So being in love really does make quite a bit of a difference in terms of food uses and nothing else. Are gonna get there? Throw you on the treadmill. And we've got enough cash to maybe buy a food bar. Huh. Just got there. We really ran out of day as well. We're not, not a lot of point. Well, I suppose we can speedball just a little bit. So just a little bit of time. Just getting this all the way up. But that's close. We're gonna get. All right, let's take this fight. Paunchy, you're an all-rounder. You are. Hook boxing into so your a fair suicidal attack. All right, so he learns less energy. Faster boxing. All right. Well, I am going to do that. Strip it all out again. So I want my kick and my cobra strike. I would like my Windflow Dodge, and I would like, yeah, let's go all out on terms of damage for this round. So he's got that modifier engaged, I would really like to Cobra Strike the guy. Well, burn his energy out. Eh? Ow! You hit for 23 in a single punch is not nice. Oh, counter attack is working. I'm happy with that build. Beating him on the energy game. Oh. Occasionally kicks in and does a lot of damage. I'm just going to word the ones who are going to get knocked on our ass right now. Yeah, not happy. Not happy at all. You're not engaging, which is not useful. Looks like if you want to really get it in, you can't have it paired up. Hmm. 
Yeah, damn it. Okay. A lesson learnt. Are we injured? No, just sad. Aww. Alright, with that sad defeat, aww. We'll call it an episode here. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. He has been Punch Jarred. This has been Punch Club. Please remember to like, comment, or subscribe. We need to go home to eat. See you in a bit.